is described as an acute intestinal infection that spreads through contaminated food and water. With safe water and sanitation, cholera can actually be prevented. That's according to the World Health Organization, which has acknowledged a multi-country outbreak of cholera, especially since early this year. The WHO has classified the current global resurgence of cholera as a grade three emergency. Cholera specifically is endemic in Africa and Southeast Asia, especially in developing countries uh, where you have issues of uh, overpopulation, issue of uh, personal and environmental hygiene, and it is even made worse by the incident of crisis, both internationally and nationally. In our own country too, we have national crisis. We have, we have incidents of uh, Boko Haram, uh, insurgency, and uh, a lot of other crises, including some level of political crisis, leading uh, people to leave their uh, places to other places. And in Nigeria, when people leave their places, the only place they think of going first is Lagos. Beyond those factors, absolutely safe water and clean environment are not assured in most communities and neighborhoods across Nigeria, and especially in a state like Lagos, which bears the brunt of economic migration. Before now, there, are, there were a couple of places that will fetch water from if water finishes from here. But currently, this is the main place now that we get water from. So if there's no water here, no other source of getting water, except if you have a boil in your house. So that, there's no public power, uh, water supply? Public, so <laughs> there's nothing like that here. For years, we have been saying that we've not had adequate investment and attention on the water sector. So most Lagosians have had... And of course, you can magnify that nationally. When we talk of Lagos, Lagos is a city. Then you can look at other parts of the country. Most residents depend on unwholesome sources of water because uh, we don't have pipe bond water running to their homes. And in the cases where you even have, just like in many parts of Lagos, you see the pipeline integrity comes to question. The whole of Nigeria does not even have a sanitary landfill. And so we just dump waste anywhere we like because government does not see that waste can generate power, waste can be recycled to generate manure for agricultural purposes. The latest cholera outbreak ravaging 33 states in Nigeria has killed not less than 54 persons. 29 of those fatalities are in Lagos, making the state the most vulnerable. We have the data that represents the total number of suspected cholera cases. And that number is 579. Out of this 579, we have unfortunately experienced 29 deaths. Most of these deaths were caused by patients presenting very late at a stage where we could not resuscitate them because they had severe dehydration and many patients were actually brought in dead. For the past two years, we have been involved in trying to do some kind of surveillance, not only for cholera, but for uh, disease outbreak generally. For example, we were looking at canals around Lagos and studying the effluent and water in the canals to find out whether we can pick any disease. We found COVID, we found cholera uh, in those, in one or two of the canals around Lagos. And I believe that that information was made available to the Ministry of Health in Lagos. The authorities, including the National Center for Disease Control and the Lagos State Government have activated the National Cholera Emergency Operation Center with the state government providing free treatment for all suspected cases and embarking on active case search and contact tracing. On the 10th of June, 
we saw an unprecedented number of cases in our government facilities, predominantly around Lagos Island, Lekki, and Koshafe. The cause of the outbreak in Lagos is blamed on the consumption of unregulated street beverages and contaminated water supply. But take a look around anywhere you are in the city, the risk factors stare hard at you. They are high. Open defecation, polluting underground water. I was in a train one day from, Ibadan to, from Lagos to Ibadan, and I saw immediately from this Yaba uh, train station, you just watch along those axes, Yagba, Agege, and all of those, till you reach Ibadan. You will see people defecating in open spaces. Lack of safe water. What I use this water for is for is washing my clothes and cooking and taking my baths with other stuff, but not for drinking. So where do you get your drinking water? I will buy pure water. Pure water is our main source of um, for drinking. The fuel is too costly, so I may, so I, I put more money on top of the water. If you want to buy the sometimes way is light. I'm selling it. For 15 era. And then if there are no light, I'm selling because I want to use generator, I'm selling it to 15 era. Till 15 era for someone. Ghana is to 15 era. If there's no light, I'm using Gen to pour in 25 liter, 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 liter in Jerica. The responsibility is on government at all levels to ensure that our people have access. And when we say our people, we mean people at every level of society. The rich may have access to it, but do the poor people have access to it? And even if they have access to it, is it affordable? So what will make people depend on whole own sources of water, if not for unavailability and in some cases, cost? Improper waste disposal. Climate is another huge factor. Torrential rain in the last days has made Lagos more flood prone. Just overnight, a friend sent me videos of how her house was submerged in water. Overnight, because of the rain that fell, the, the entire house was taken over by water. Now imagine if... <laughs> If that water had access into her pot of soup or pot of stew, then we are talking of another, if that water has been contaminated, we are talking of cholera spreading in the whole of that particular community. And so how has government been able to, has government been able to control water in those environments in Lagos State? The situation points to a more pervading social challenge huge but not insurmountable you need to continuously you know tell people you need to continuously educate them on the need to use proper toilets and these things usually don't have to be very expensive um a proper a proper toilet with I mean, it doesn't have to be water closet with a good bowl on it you know what i mean by the bowl right a good bowl on it and you know the the pit latrine well cleaned is just sufficient so very soon we see all around the ghost brand new public toilets that uh, we are going to be uh, building around the place. We are taking samples now uh, at the state government level and very soon you see them. Watch what you in ingest, food, water, beverage, it really doesn't matter. Once it's contaminated and it gets into your mouth, you may get, and I said may, may get cholera. And government too must strengthen regulatory uh, capacities so that those professionals that are empowered to regulate environmental issues. They will be strengthened to do that. But awareness, advocacy is very key. So the role to, to prevent outbreak is to continue to do what they call disease surveillance. 
The federal government has also recently revived the Clean Nigeria campaign to tackle diseases like cholera from their roots by committing to end open defecation by 2025. Ambitious, yes, but it is critical among many other steps required to improve environmental hygiene across Nigeria and maybe put a permanent stop to the embarrassment of cholera. Tokumbo, Oye Arise News, Lagos.